Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Um, I've had a few customers in the last little while uh, with this coronavirus scare, which seems like it's going to get a little worse before it gets better, hopefully only a little worse, uh, wanting to know uh, what can they charge with our 120 watt solar blankets? Um, basically if they need to get out of their city or if, if they're stuck at home. So I took the opportunity. It's a cold day outside anyways. So I'm just doing some charging, um, showing you some of the devices we can charge a little, some of the setup of what I have for some of, uh, the products that I have, if there's a grid down situation or I use it for overlanding as well too. Um, but yeah, as an example, we've got our 120 watt solar blanket. It's in the window there. Uh, it's a bit of a hazy day. We don't have a perfect sunlight. And the sun is basically to the left of the house right now. Um, that solar blanket will put out 6.1 amps. Uh, it's only 7.9 pounds, folds up to the size of a laptop. This is it right on the coffee table right there. Gives you an idea of size. So as an example, um, again, wanted to be inside because it's cold. Even got the fire going just to keep warm. Um, I've got a 12 volt battery here with our exact setup that we would have if you're going to charge your vehicle trailer battery this solar charge controller is actually designed so that it can uh, it can also uh, charge uh, be programmed to charge a lithium battery but to give you an idea there we go we have got just under 42 watts going in Let's see what the amps are 18.7 volts 2.2 amps so without exact direct sunlight behind a living room window and we're, I don't know, it's probably about 40 degrees, 45 degrees uh, to the left of us is the sun. So it's not directly in front of us. That's doing pretty good. So um, some of the things that I have my setup, uh, I'll go through that as well as some of the, the larger battery packs that we can charge as well too. So some of the things that I charge for my solar blankets and it's either going to be directly from the USB charging ports on the back or it's going to be um, uh, using the Energy Apex. That's one of my favorite ones. I use that. So as an example, I have three. These are uh, 20,000 milliamp hour battery packs. So these two here in a goal zero one. These are just examples. I have others as well, too. I just didn't want the table too full of things. But two LED uh, lights. Um, these three, these are 400 lumen a piece. They're 10, uh, 10 feet in length and they're chainable and they actually attach right to the, the apex or one of my favorites. I do have traditional matches, but it's kind of nice to have um, uh, a lighter that charges from solar. I've got two of my Bofang radios there as well. A speaker, my emergency radio, uh, two of my headlamps. They're 3,400, um, what are they? 3,400 lumen a piece. And I believe they're, the batteries are 3,200 lumen a piece. Or sorry, let me rephrase that, 3,200 milliamp hours. And then I got three of the regular batteries or the regular flashlights here. These are 4,000 lumen a piece, and I believe they're 5,000 milliamp hour batteries that are in there. These all charge for my solar as well too. And then we have this guy here, um, just a, a secondary battery pack. So give you an example, some of the items, some of the larger uh, battery packs that we can charge. We've got the Energy Apex, which is right here. This is my favorite by far out of all of them. 25 pounds, uh, the amount of, of outlets that you have on it are more than I would ever need, even if I have family here, which is probably gonna what's what's gonna be, what's gonna happen if this, this coronavirus keeps up how it is. Um, Kodiak, very, very similar, 20 pounds. Um, I, the reason I love the, the Energy Apex, our 215 watt blanket will charge that in as quick as four hours. Uh, our 120 in as quick as eight hours on its own, we can obviously daisy chain these together and get more amperage if we choose to with a parallel cable. Um, new, well, not new to the market, but this is a little newer. We have the EcoFlow Delta. Uh, we, our 120 watt can easily charge that as well too, as, as well as our 200 watt solar blanket. It, it's a nice unit. I, I don't, it, I like it, but I don't love the fact it only has 500 life cycles. I definitely prefer the Apex over that because it has 2,000 life cycles. So if, you know, we need power for a while, something happens, grid goes down or whatever, uh, I know I'm going to get a lot more longevity out of out of uh, this battery pack. Um, the Dometic PLB40, uh, great little unit. I use that uh, quite a bit just to charge. Um, I've got four uh, Dometic fridge freezers. The reason I have four is I have three, one in each of my South African trailers and then one for my Forerunner. And then uh, the Goal Zero. Goal Zero battery pack. This is just an example. We have the cable for the smaller ones, as well as we have the cables for the larger all the way to the 3000 series. Um, I like Goal Zero as well too. We're a, rip, a rep for them as well. Uh, they're just not my favorite pr product because they're big, they're bulky, they take a lot longer to charge. 
and they're limited on the wattage. I think the maximum wattage is 360 watts, which is, I don't get that. But uh, yeah, the maximum wattage is 360 watts on what you can charge um, with that. But like I said, guys, these are just some really good examples of what we can charge. Um, and again, I hope it doesn't come down to it, but like, what is it? A quarter, as of today, a quarter of Italy is now under lockdown. Um, yeah, there's a lot of interesting things that are going on. And unfortunately it's in North America now. And I do think they're going to start quarantining here. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but it, it does seem like that's going to be what's going to happen. Um, so definitely if you guys are looking for something that can be used in a bug out situation in emergency preparedness, um, overlanding camping, hopefully more for overlanding and camping than anything else, or like I'm doing here, let's say you need to be housebound. Well, look, we're inside and we've got, let's just see what we are at again. Just over 45 watts going in, 2.4 amps going in. So you can see, you can easily charge any of these devices. If it gets bad and a lot of people get sick, you could have a large portable battery pack that's going to run your fridge freezer. You could charge the battery from your living room window if you, if you, if you don't have access to a yard. Um, yeah, well, either, either way, guys, definitely check out our website, offgridtrek.com. We are running very, very low. I can't believe the amount of, uh, people that are purchasing from us right now. A lot of people are, are concerned about what's coming. Um, and I don't blame them. I'm concerned as well too. I've gotten enough food set aside for myself and family members because I know not all my family members are going to be ready. Um, and yeah, so all I can say guys is keep safe. If you're wanting one of these products from us, please let us know as soon as possible before we run out. We do have more product coming, but we, like every other company, all the way to Apple and Tesla and all of the big manufacturers, everybody's feeling the pinch in the supply chain because everybody's realizing how everything at the end of the day is t tied to China. Even if it's just a couple screws that you purchase for your product uh, to build the product, everything is tied to China. Again, check out our website, offgoodtrek.com. Give me a call. The number's 403-461-7173. I'd be happy to show you or talk to you and walk you through anything you might need for your specific needs, um, depending on your setup. We do have cables now for we can charge um, any ZAMP Solar, any trailers that are set up for ZAMP Solar. We have the cables for that as well, too. Um, and like I said, this, this is just an example of our 120 watt. I'll have a picture at the end. To give you a comparison, because our product is mostly compared with um, power film. Uh, it's double the price of ours. It's an excellent product. I'm not knocking it. It's, it's an amazing product. But it is double the price, and it's three times the footprint. So I'll have a picture at the end of this, so you guys can see as well, too, what that looks like. Um, and we do have a 200 watt and a 215 watt. If you're unsure, call us to verify what you're... Because each solar blanket I designed for a specific purpose. Some of them have multi-purposes, but as an example, the 120 watt, as you see here, and our 200 watt only works with the EcoFlow Delta. Those, it's, it's the best option for the EcoFlow Delta. The 215 watt was specifically designed for the Energy Apex and the Kodiak. Uh, the 120 watt, the 215 watt, and the 200 watt, all of those will work with the Goal Zero products. And our 120 watt is limited that, that's all you can use with a Dometic. And again, it's it's just how these manufacturers configured their devices for wattage or voltage or amperage input. It's just how they designed them. Okay, guys, uh, be safe. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll post this video here soon. And yeah, here, last look. We're still same thing. Just over 45 watts going in. 2.5 amps is what it was. 2.4. So yeah, we're getting power. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Everybody be safe. Any questions, please let me know. And we'll talk to you soon.